are you doing? I'm making us having sex. <laughs> oh, but it's, so it's not loud. It's not loud enough. No, it's supposed to be going. Ar, 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 ar. <laughs> and that brings up a great subject for tonight's little session. Lube or not to lube? <laughs> well, that is a good question. <laughs> Let me get rid of this so over here. I am. You don't want it in our backdrop? No, no. Have you seen our new backdrop? It's lovely. Yes, this is our new home. Welcome to our new home. <laughs> the 20 grand we spent on our studio is done. Done. Gone. gone. No more green screens. No more, no more fun. No. <sighs> oh, well. But we are having fun because we're traveling. We get to travel the nation for Tom's we trips. We do. We do. <sighs> we get to come see everybody. Yes. Uh, we'll be posting uh, our link of where we're going to be in this video somewhere down below up above left or right but i don't have a green screen so no. it may even be at the end of the video we'll get it figured so you're gonna have to watch the video all the way through to see it yes so what we're discussing is lube lube and you know a lot of our videos we uh, talked about um uh, male um erectional problems and mm -hmm. uh so today we're gonna talk about female dysfunctional this we're not dysfunctional we we have dysfunctions. Oh, <laughs> but well, no. okay. So I must be married to the dysfunctional one. Yeah, that you are. <laughs> I, I have to agree with that. But a lot of our videos we do are kind of geared towards the newbies that yes. are just starting out in Correct. the lifestyle. And this one actually could be to newbies <laughs> as well as kind of experienced people because still today we talk to people who've been in the lifestyle for ten years and the wife will come up and say. I love my husband, I love my boyfriend, I'm attracted, I'm just not getting wet like I used to be. Right. And it is 100% natural. It is natural. And we can attest to that. I one. say it's natural because my ego's here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, for us, I mean, like, just like everything else, our, our issue started, what has it been, 15 years ago when I had a complete hysterectomy. Yeah. When right. she had her hysterectomy... The well dried up. <laughs> <laughs> now, in the beginning, yes, I can get nice and wet, and we can enjoy sex for about two minutes. Yeah. Yeah. If you're highly aroused. Right. Highly aroused. And then it goes away. Mm -hmm. Or the minute I orgasm. The minute she orgasms, it's I can tell when she comes. It, it's done. It's done. It's done. So then goes, I start <laughs> screaming, lube, lube. Lube. So we keep a lot of lube on hand. Yes. So, for you guys that are out there and you're playing and you're like, gosh, this girl keeps drying up. I must not be doing something right. Spit up. <laughs> but in your hand is okay. Don't just open up and just spit in it. No. 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 <laughs> Some girls like it. Some girls like it. <laughs> Ask. <laughs> Ask. <laughs> before, before you hock a lookie on them. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to go. <laughs> <laughs> That would be funny as hell. No, that wouldn't. That would not be. All funny. right, all right. If you do that, take a video, send it to us. <laughs> amuse Tom. Yeah, I, I'll amuse. I'll be amused. <laughs> so anyway, we actually were we were discussing this today while we were driving around. We're in the Portland, Oregon we are in area. Portland. We're going to Club Provada tonight, mm -hmm. and not tonight, tomorrow night. We're all dressed up for the video, though. <laughs> we want you to think we're going out tonight but anyway we were discussing uh, i i always play with my straw in my cup and when we're driving around and then sean says what are you doing i always joke around saying well i'm mimicking us having sex and i think he's just annoying me i am annoying the shit out of her but that's okay so i we talked about it we thought well we do a lot of male dysfunction mm -hmm. um videos and erectile dysfunction there's a lot of women out there that don't get as wet as the girl next to them. Right. And it does hinder a lot of play. So if you're a husband or a boyfriend and your girlfriend doesn't want to go to a swing club, she likes to swing, but she doesn't really want to go, maybe you need to discuss the female dysfunction. Yes, because there is a lot of it. A lot of it. it. And it doesn't only have to be with needing of lube. It has to be sex drive. You know, there's a lot of things that happen in life. Stress, everything can lead off to that. But today we're going to focus mainly on the dryness and the lube. Yes, because it took us years to find the right lube. Yes, it did. Now, my preference is pink 
water. Pink water based lube. Yes. I find if I have anything um, scented, if I have a silicone base, it's not good for later on. What's the other one if it has a certain ingredient in it? And mine has to be paraffin free. Okay, paraffin free. And so we learn this time after time after time. I mean, we were <laughs> sponsored by Wet Lube yes, for years. Yeah, for a long time. And the, they would send Bunny a Christmas present of like a 32 ounce pump lube. <laughs> and we'd always give them away because she would always have a reaction to wet lube. Mm -hmm. So our friends loved us at Christmas time. Yes, they did. <laughs> everybody did. I could have filled up a bunch of them for everybody. Yeah. Um, another thing that we find is couples that go to play clubs and swing clubs, they always ask others, do you have lube? Why aren't you bringing your own lube? I mean, it, whether you need it or not, you should always have condoms, yes. lube, wipes. We'll, we'll, we'll get into a play bag set up um, on one of our videos. You know, and I've had, from running a club that we had single men at, single men would come up to me and say, well, this girl only wanted me to wear her condom or only wanted me to play with her loop. Of yes, course, of because course. she knows her body. Correct. I guarantee if somebody uses a cheap condom or lube that my body doesn't like. You're going to have an infection. I am. And I that am. sucks for a week yes. to ten days. and Yes. Yeah. It's not the most joyful thing to go through. So, uh, basically, figure out, I mean, try the, try the little sample loops. If you mm -hmm. go to Lotions and Lace or some local sex shop near you, I love saying that word, <laughs> a lingerie shop, sorry, for the people that are a little light-skinned. But if you go to the local sex shop and you ask them about the sample packets, they're about a quarter to 50 cents each. Right. Try one, but don't try them all one night. <laughs> try one each week to each find week. out if you yes. have a reaction over time because a bacterial infection is not going to show up within 24 hours. Typically, it's a few days. Right. For me, it's about three days. Three days. So if you try one a week and note the ones that you didn't have a problem with and the ones you absolutely had a problem with and then find out what one you liked the best and that's what we did narrow it down yes we tried the pink um, silicone didn't work um pink is made for women by women to give pleasure to women well not all of it worked <laughs> no and i've tried all natural products everything i find what we i tried like. the couple times yeah. it just dries up <laughs> use lube but the biggest <laughs> one is for those guys out there who are experiencing experiencing it or the girls it's not you it's really not you um it's not the guy it's it's your body and your body and unfortunately as we grow older mm -hmm. and when i mean grow older from 18 up you're growing older <laughs> so your body can react from the minute you hit puberty all the way up until you're... Well, and even like right now, I mean, obviously, as you can tell, we have had a major, major life change. Yes. And we, we that have. has affected it 100%. <laughs> yeah, we'll go into another video on that. We'll actually give you a tour of our mansion here, our mansion on wheels. Um, not right now. We'll do that pretty soon once we clean up the mess a little bit. We're still figuring out what all we can have in here and what we can't. I can't go shopping anymore. No, we went to Costco today and <sighs> looked around and yeah, couldn't fit everything we wanted in the cart inside the fifth wheel here. So, and we were going after the lube. I'm telling you, the lube <laughs> section was all in the cart and we had to leave it behind. That big pink bottle of pink water just doesn't fit anymore. So I will recommend a couple of lubes not to use. Vaseline. No. No. no, it doesn't work very well. Um, a lot of people swear by baby oil. I don't know about that one, but I'd have to. We'd have to experiment with that one. No. No, I guess that's an out. That's got sense in it for me. All right, so now, that's out. One of the things that a lot of people are using now is coconut oil. Coconut oil. Okay. It is all natural. We haven't tried it, have we? We have not tried it. We will add that to a video. We will. And we will be. Um, Every now and then we do try a different lube, mm -hmm. but we always revert back, go back to the pink water-based. Mm -hmm. It doesn't That's, last as long. No, but 
that's why it comes a little pump. Just keep <laughs> keep adding, keep adding, keep that adding. That way I know <laughs> that I'm not going to have an issue three days from now. And they say you can spit on it. I don't see that working. No, no, no. it doesn't add back to it. Maybe what that's I the do, silicone um, loop. What I am um, going to have us purchase, though, is some type of a warmer. <laughs> a warmer. For, so you don't get the ice cold lube? Right, right. Because now living in this freezer box <laughs> mobile home it gets a little cold it up there gets a little cold we try to heat it up yeah so so guys like i said if somebody asks you to use their type of lube or their condoms because i'm specific to that too please do it if you want if you want something you're gonna do it you're yes. gonna cave yeah and for you guys that think that your wife is not interested anymore because she's not getting wet or not getting sexually aroused. No. No. It's, I'm sure. I mean, sure. it may be the it case. May be. It may be the case. Be. I mean, we'll call it how it is. I mean, <laughs> you, don't be a douche. <laughs> right. But right. no, honestly, I know Bunny loves me, and I know that the hysterectomy had a lot to do with it. They took everything. So, um, I mean, we're ready to play on the dime now. Right. As long as we have lube. 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 <laughs> so we'll let you go with that. But anyway, there is female dysfunction or dysfunctional. <laughs> and we just want everyone to know that it is very natural. Definitely don't let that stop you from playing. Definitely when you go to clubs or events, bring condoms, lube, bring everything that works for you and test the products before you take them to the game. Correct. Make sure it's not, the ball's not deflated. <laughs> no, we don't like deflated <laughs> balls. Unless we deflate them. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> so everybody, that's it for tonight. Just a short little one. Wanted to bring everybody up to speed in case you haven't noticed it on your own. We are in a campground right now, and I'm just curious on how many people are outside hearing what we're talking about, because we're not being quiet here. No. Why should we be? <laughs> we got microphones right up to our mouths. <laughs> we live our life without limits, right? <laughs> All right. We'll see you soon, and definitely check out TomAndBunny.com. I'll put the link on the website right after the video ends, and uh, click on Upcoming Events. You will see where we're going to be, and if we're going to be at a club near you, Definitely come out and say hi. If right. you never met us, we want to meet you. Um, now, we're not going to go into that. We're going to do a whole other video on where we are and what we're going to be doing for the next two weeks. Correct. So you have to come back on and watch that video too. Yep. And definitely email us and give us a, a thumbs up on our video, but that unfortunately tells other people who... Well, if you message the video, but you can give a thumbs up. That No one knows who gave a thumbs up. No. But definitely send us an email if you have any suggestions on videos you would like us to do. And join us in Hedonism. We'll be there January 20th through the 27th, March 3rd through the 10th. And for the Cassidy Crush Takeover brand new event, that's May 12th through the 19th. So definitely book with us. We're going to have Bunny's phone number on there. And you can call to book travel right away. Yes, please do. Have a great night. Good night.